on ESPNU, presented by Allstate. And today, from Beaver Stadium in State College, Pennsylvania, the Nittany Lions of Penn State, ranked 25th in the country, take on the Penguins of Youngstown State. Poster board for linebacker U. The senior captain has had tremendous success the first three years here at Penn State. He's climbing up the all-career tackle list, only 69 away. But his two best qualities are his instinctiveness and his intelligence on the field. And all the linebackers and the defense look for him for a tempo setting. He's 57th year overall here with the Nittany Lions. My goodness, what a legend. Youngstown State will be kicking off. Joe Bishop will do the honors. Talented guys to return for Penn State. And they converge. It's Derek Williams, and he's going to be taken down shy of the 15 yard here in the Big Ten. Morelli, though, a great arm, Mike. He has a tremendous arm, almost textbook. If you want to be a quarterback someday, watch his mechanics as he throws the football and watch his eyes down the field. The first play will be a run. Tony Hunt. He gets some room around Mitchell Hunt. Hahn joins him in the backfield. Derek Williams, very talented receiver, along with Dion Butler. You'll also see a lot of Jordan Norwood today. And Kevin Darling is the tight end. The front five for Penn State. Levi Brown is the only returning starter. Then you've got a lot of guys that have played but haven't started. Cadigan, Shipley, Price, and Shaw. Shipley, like Levi Brown, a converted defensive player. Now Morelli to throw, given plenty of time. He goes across the middle and finds Darling, his tight end. 24 yards on you the play. see Tyler Griffin some today. A carry by Hunt last week. Good point. Hunt again, this time caught behind the line of scrimmage. A great play by Jeff Cole. The decisions he's making, getting into good plays and out of bad plays. Pass incomplete. John Haycock's reaction, he knows that all too well. And again, it's McQuante Gibson looking for a state's little. defensive front four. And Tim Shaw kind of a misnomer there because he's really more a linebacker than he is a defensive line guy. Alford, Johnson, and Shaw join him up front. Then the linebackers, the best in the country, folks, just simply put. Pazlesny, Lee, and Dan Connor, who missed the first three games last year because of a suspension. He's back in the good graces now. A secondary that's all brand new. Davis, Johnson, Scarato, and King. All those guys replacing the secondary from one year ago. In fact, seven new starters on defense for the Nittany Lions. Third and ten. Here comes pressure. The pass is caught by Eisen, the fullback. And he takes it up to the 29, shy, though, of the first down. We'll have Penn a lot State to talk about on Monday, this being separation Saturday. Seven games involving teams that are involved in the top 25 going head-to-head. -head. Penn State looking to go deep to Butler in the today. When you look at teams from the Pac-10, Oregon is one of those teams that can surprise you. There goes Derek Williams. He gets loose up to the 37. He broke his arm against Michigan and missed the final five games, including the Orange Bowl. Little screen pass caught by Matt Hahn. Still on his feet across midfield at the Youngstown State 48-yard line. Hunt finds the corner. And picks up 10 on That's first bad, down. Huh? <laughs> Good average. Makes, it makes plays a lot easier. Here comes Hunt again. He's going to try the other side. And again, he has room. I'm not sure he got 10 this time, but he got nine. Is this too far to run it? We'll see. Third and four. Third and nine opposed to a third and four. Morelli slipped a little bit as he went back, throws it up in the end zone, and it's knocked away incomplete. Not been able to get it past the 30-yard line. So here comes Youngstown State on offense again, and no running room in the middle whatsoever. Sean Lee here for Zets in this offense from the shotgun. Feeling pressure, he'll be sacked. Dan Connor. Derek Williams waiting for it near midfield. Calling for the fair catch, a conservative play. Oh, team. Play action for Morelli. One checks off one receiver and goes to Matt Hahn, the fullback, who has a first down. It's not a high percentage pass, and you might see him run the football again. 45 yards and now counting for Hunt. Hunt still on his feet. 
pull down at the 38 games here at Penn State. And throw it out on the flat. That's Brendan Peretta who makes the catch. One yards. Here on second down, the pitch back to Hunt. Third and three. And they give it to the up man, Hahn. Win it for Penn State over Florida State. Left footed booter, a line drive that's no good. So much for something positive. Not happy at all with that play. Now a new quarterback is in, Mike Schneider. He's got it at the 30. Schneider again. And again, he finds his receiver. Here is zero. That's how they do against this tough Nittany Lion defense. Pressure, and they're not going to do so good. It's a fumble. It is a fumble. Way back at the 32. They call him in the grass. Ed Johnson has him right there, and the quarterback just flung it forward. I guess it was an attempt, but where's the receiver down the field? You'd be Mike Snyder. I mean, you got Johnson hanging all over you. Williams. A flag is down. In fact, a couple of them. But a dazzling play by Williams. And a 22-yard return. Those will be offsetting. That maybe Penn State isn't totally mentally in this contest. Hunt certainly is. As Tony Hunt rumbles ahead up to the 37-yard line. Off tackle zone power play where Tony Hunt has his eyes down the field. And he explodes when he gets into that secondary. That's second ever Hunt. Remember, he had only 110 in the first two games. Now Williams. He's close to play like crazy, and his kids are. This will give them confidence as they get back into one double A. That pass incomplete. Almost talented. Off. Just a sophomore, too, for the Penguins. This time, Morelli given time. He dumps it across the middle. That's Dion Butler. Butler still on his feet. Down to the 32. A first down for the Nittany Lion. Morelli to pass. Given time. Throws it too high and into too this part of the field and sputtered on third down. This one batted down. They'll do it again. Knock it down. Long field goal attempt. 50 yard attempt. And it is good. Kevin Kelly redeems himself after missing one from 23 yards. Yes. Snyder, yes. So Zett stays on the sideline. Schneider running the show. Gibson. State because of that. Schneider does a good job of getting away from the pressure. And then ripped down at the 26-yard line by history. It would equal today's attendance. Schneider is down for the count. Standing back at his own 37-yard line and waiting the punt of Joe Bishop. Bishop gets off a good one. It backs Williams up to the 26. Williams, look out! A scintillating run. Kicking game is going to come back to haunt you. That's almost a... Illegal block in the back. Number 19 on the return team. Penn State. But Joe Paterno has got to get this out of the system of Penn State. Here they come on the reverse. A.J. Wallace. With a block. And Wallace takes it to the house. I didn't think we'd get another wow in there, but one play, fast. They've been running a toss play most of the afternoon. They set this up in the first quarter. They come back to it midway through the second quarter. That's an athlete. Two steps between the five-yard increments, and he's getting helped on field from Deion Butler. I love the hustle of Butler to stay with the play and lead him all the way into the end zone. And not make a mistake of doing something terrible, but... I'll let the fans bring him home down the stretch. He comes. 
Hey, a long that. setback. And it's Reams with the ball. Trying to get outside. Good luck. And he'll be dropped for a loss of three. Third is right. down and seven yards to go. Zets from the shotgun. Quick pass. It's completed. Zets again. Good coverage on the play by Donnie Johnson. The safety. So he's played four different positions. Gibson. Stutter set now. Nice stutter set now. He loses the ball. It's loose. Who's got it? Youngstown State said they're going to have control of it. Just one third down conversion today. Zets running out of room and time. And it's picked off. Scarato. Pressure coming from Puzlesny. Out of the pocket as a quarterback, you're looking to run, maybe throw, and you're out of the pocket, but don't throw things up for the field, especially across your body, back into the middle of the field. Man, did you see how quickly Puzlesny's closed? Look at this. Little burst of speed right there. Oh, my goodness. And that's just want to getting there. They say he's lost a step, but I have yet to see it. 28 yard return by Scarato after the interception. Now Hunt, little screen pass, and he gets it inside the they're 10. They're knees and they're playing with leverage. Tony Hunt, Hunt is into the end zone. Touchdown. That was sheer desire. They lost badly to Alabama earlier in the year, and then came back to win the national title. And that's why as an athlete, you got to take one game at a time. And as well as students, I'm sure, walking through campus. Zets back in there, quarterback again. Dancing around, look out. He's sacked behind the line of scrimmage by Tim Shaw. I don't have any plan to get out. I don't want to retire. So here it is, second and ten. And again, nothing doing. Nicholson stuffed at the, the clock line. clock does of... stop on first downs just to mark the ball. Here you see the difference. Between the first three and the last three. That's when behind Deion and Derek Williams in at quarterback. Williams is going to take off and run. And he goes out of bounds. Difference in rushing for Penn State today. And they've dominated that, no question about it. They sputtered a few times, but not now. Perfect strike that time to Butler. Perfect strike. Second, and in a sense, goal really from the 11. Morelli almost slips again, and this time throws it into heavy ears and greasy shoulders when you're around a head coach. This field goal good from Kelly after missing the first one. He's been perfect. Joe Paterno goes off. He's still not happy. Despite his team scoring 20 points in that second quarter, you could add those up, and it's a dominant performance. Only three first downs for Youngstown State in that first half. And the kickoff to the second half will go deep into the end zone. Zets pulled it down initially. Finds his receiver, number 31 to Michael Horn, and Horn's probably wishing he hadn't found it. Reams runs the ball. Zetz is going to throw it, and wide open is Eisen, and he's and done for the Penguins. This is their eighth play to start the second half. Zetz again play action. He'll run it, and he'll have a yeah, first down. to get on your staff. The defensive coordinator, well, we'll call him that. In their media guide, they just refer to him as... Right across the middle, the pass is caught. They're bringing pressure, and a good job of three yards to get the Penguins on the board. And it's good. So the Penguins will not be frozen out here in Happy Valley. Here comes the kick from Bishop. That's Kinlaw. Kinlaw finds a seam. Still on his feet. There goes Kinlaw. All the way up to midfield. Really put
putting it to the Fighting Irish. And when that score was announced here at Beaver Stadium, loud applause. There goes Hunt. That'll put him over the century mark. Had a wonderful afternoon thus far. Like you said, Dave, he's up over 100 yards for the afternoon. That's a confident runner, picking, choosing. He has tremendous turnovers trying to tell these quarterbacks. It's really funny how life happens. Pass on the flat. This will be a first down for Matt Hahn. Good accuracy. The whole thing for him will be decision making. The decision here is to hand it to Williams. 18 yards on the return. Plus, he had that one big one that was called back. The pitch to Williams into the end zone for the score. A seven play drive that goes 49 yards and into the end zone goes Derek Williams. Mike Schneider again. Zets might have just gotten winded. Pass completed to Bush from the gateway. And they're favored to win it again. Schneider spins around. One double A, the NCAA. Two the top two teams, Southern Illinois and Northern Iowa, and mostly because Youngstown State lost to those two teams during the Schneider, double pump. The ball was tipped at the line and then incomplete. To watch from the end zone here, as we go to the play fake, he'll pump there, he'll never get his feet set. And he's off balance, even though the ball did get tipped on the field. I'd rather have the ball in his hands and just throw it away or drop down and take a loss. And give it to Williams again on the end around. And there he goes. Up across the 40 to the for Norwood coming into today. None this afternoon. This time on the draw. Hunt. Boy, was that great patience. Then the straight arm. And then a lot more. Wow. That's the total package right there which is famous for remembering the Titans. Well, here's a Titan coming at you right now. Tony Hunt, just extra effort. I mean, he must have 50 yards on extra effort today. <laughs> Kinlaw takes his place. Morelli, though, looking to pass and has his man across the middle. That's the freshman, Chris Bell. Morelli, who has had, what would you, how would you describe it? I gave him a C in the first half, even though he didn't throw an interception or anything else. Taken by Scarato, he doesn't call the fair catch, a little dangerous play for him, but spills across to the really 20, looking to pass, and has his man across the middle. That's the freshman, Chris Bell. Well, you think of the speed that Penn State has added. Biggest step for me. Fly. Yeah, biggest step for me is zero turnovers by Penn State. Zets. Taken down state. for the Mindy Lions. Mm. Uh-oh. Zets. Did he get it back or not? I don't think so. I'm going to review this. I think he was down. They might have to review. Now to the perimeter, but somebody was in his face. Ball slips out. He recovers it. But he didn't have control of it. And from that replay, I can't see any video evidence. It is reviewed, and I think... They determined in that amount of time that the call on the field was accurate, that that was a fumble. And all. You got to make the game physical, and they've done that at the line of scrimmage. And they got razzle dazzle all afternoon. In reverse, Butler. And Butler's speed almost turned that into something. So here comes Kelly to attempt his fourth field goal of the day. Three of four so far, make it three of five. Philadelphia oh, Eagles. But he still holds one record at Youngstown State. It's Schneider today. He's going to have to have a huge rest of the game to get to 200 yards today. He's around 100 so far today passing. These last two plays will help out. Team officially for Zets, 127 yards through the air. And here comes Reams. Zets, oh, drop. Morelli's still in there, a quarterback. Gives it off to Kinlaw. And he rushes up to the 30 holders. And did, did we play lat, did we play fast on offense? Brandon Snow we'll thought that might happen. But that is a huge score. Kinlaw. One man to beat. 
positions, but the offensive line, the center 57, A.Q. Shipley does a nice job. But this is all Kinlaw. He saw Hunt do it for three and a half quarters. Now he's getting an opportunity. And the only way to get me on the fly. So sometimes we say, oh, incomplete pass, bad pass by the quarterback. It sometimes. very well could have been the receiver's fault. This pass is incomplete. Here comes Kelly now. You see three of five. He's missed two to this end of the stadium. This one, though, is up. And again, no good. He is having all kinds of problems at this end of the stadium. Three misses down. 21. Now. They were tied at 20 going into that Orange Bowl. Who works with the kickers? Wouldn't surprise me, too, if they keep the lights on. And Kelly's out here kicking to that end of the field. And that's a long hit really for the Penguins. Daryl Clark now <laughs> taking over for Anthony Morelli, a quarterback for the Nittany Lions. And this is a guy who has a run pass option. And now he drops the ball. Clark loses the ball the first play that he gets in. And Youngstown State is saying they have it. And in fact, it looks like it is going to be Penguin ball. Snyder getting some pressure. And this one picked off. The pressure came from Jared Udrick, a true freshman, and then intercepted by Lydell Sargent. Watch 91 come to your picture, and the left screen just beats the right tackle off the ball. Had the quarterback on his grasp, and Snyder just threw it without even looking. And when you throw it without even looking. You ever find that, Mike, as a former quarterback yourself, sometimes a little bit unfair as Kinlaw. Takes by the right guard or the receiver not running the proper route. But when a quarterback does poorly, I think everyone in the stadium knows. How about that play by Bell? He makes the catch. The defender runs up. As Clark delivers this ball. It's up, up over his shoulder pads, but Bell does a nice job snatching it as he comes back to get the ball. And that's the important thing. He comes back to the quarterback to get the ball. And we can tell he has talent the after Quarterbacks the have slumps like anybody else. And when you go into a slump like that, it is so frustrating. Kinlaw again, really quick. And they'll bring him back next year as a fifth-year senior. There goes Kinlaw again on the way. Kinlaw is running. Yards on the ground in the first two games on 10 carries. Now Clark. That'll be a touchdown. There's another running back. Yes. <laughs> the game against Notre Dame last week. By design, the quarterback counter draw, and he just has a nose for the end zone. The product got a young stop. Michigan State today looked impressive after a slow start against Pittsburgh. This will be the fact. I'm not sure they'll get it off. That'll do it. This one comes to a close. Joe Paterno is coming up with yet another win. Make it number 356 in his legendary career. Any final thoughts? I wish Youngstown State well in the Gateway Conference. They came in here. It was exciting for them. They didn't play up to their potential. But Penn State still has some answers. Once again, our final score, Penn State wins this one 37 to 3. Coming up next on ESPNU, it's Sports Center U. For more information, log on to your new home for the finest in college sports, ESPNU.com. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Mike Tomczak and our entire crew, Dave Armstrong saying so long from State College, Pennsylvania. Now let's get you to Mike.